Okay, now I'm going to show you Cycles View. So I'm going to go ahead and go online. And you can see our cluster is running. And what I'm going to do is show you Clusters View. So I'll come up here and select Flex Ray Clusters. And here in the first da tab, Data View, it shows the nodes that are connected to my PC. So here I have Node 1 and Node 2. If I had multiple boards, it would say node 1, node 2, node 3, node 4, etc. What I can do um, is control these nodes through node actions and cluster actions. So let's look at the messages view at the same time to see what happens. First, let's do a cluster action. Is What I'll redo is restart the cluster. Um, and you can see what happens is you'll see a new flex ray symbol, which is the collision avoidance symbol that's sent at startup, and then the frames start up again. So let's stop the cluster. And then we will restart. And then I'll stop. So if I go ahead and pause here, I can look at the top and you'll see your flex ray symbol come out which is your collision avoidance symbol followed by the initial startup frames from node 1 and then you see that node 2 synchronizes and starts setting its startup frame and then so on and so forth so that's a cluster startup so the clusters data view allows you to manually control the cluster. And this start, stop, restart of the cluster is available through scripting too. So if you're building an automated test or you wanted to test your ECU startup, this is a great tool. You can also apply actions to the individual nodes. So these are the, the, the pot commands that you can send. And this is very useful for experimentation and learning uh, the under, to, to learn the uh, state machine of the protocol controller, which if you look in the, spe the flex rate specification, there's a uh, block diagram, a state machine diagram that shows you the states which the protocol controller can go through. So one interesting ex uh, example would be, uh, what is the difference between halt and freeze? So um, if I select halt and I can select one or two nodes here, um, you can see that the slot counter is zero. So if I go ahead and restart my cluster and I select freeze, you can see the slot counter is 218. So this demonstrates an example of the difference between freeze and halt because halt waits to the end of the communication cycle to stop where freeze stops immediately. So the slot counters are 218 and not zero like when we did halt. That's because a full um, a full, a full cycle went by before it stopped. So that's an introduction to the FlexRay Cycles data view.